This is Newton's ring apparatus. As you can see, this is sodium source. In front of it, the apparatus is kept, where this one is the condensing lens to receive the light coming from the sodium source and to make it to fall on this glass plate. Here, this is an inclined glass plate making an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical or the horizontal. The light received on this glass plate will go in downward direction where there is a plano convex lens placed on a plain glass plate. Now, this is a traveling microscope in order to observe the Newton's rings and here there is a scale, linear scale provided with a circular scale. To start with the experiment, we have to find out least count of this microscopic scale. Now we shall find out least count of this traveling microscopic scale. Here you can see this is main scale and this is zero of position of the microscope coinciding with the zero of main scale and this is circular scale. Here again the zero on this wheel is coinciding with the zero of the circular scale. Now we have to move this circular scale through one rotation 10 division, 20 division, 30 division, 40 division, 50 divisions, 60 divisions, 70, 80 divisions, 90 divisions and back to 0 that is 100 division 1 rotation complete and here now you can see that this microscope has moved through 1 division on the main scale in 1 rotation that means distance travelled by this microscope in 1 rotation is equal to 1 division on the main scale this is pitch of screw of this microscopic scale count of this scale that will be equal to p chop screw divided by total number of divisions on circular scale now as it is shown earlier that p chop screw that is distance traveled in one rotation is equal to 1 millimeter and total number of divisions on circular scale are 100 and therefore this list count will be equal to 0 0.01 millimeter. If we want to convert it to centimeter then we will have to divide it again by 10 and thereby this will be equal to 0 0.001 centimeter. This is the list count of the scale. Now to start with the experiment, this is the formula for determination of wavelength by Newton's ring. Lambda is equal to dn plus p whole square minus dn square divided by 4pr where lambda is wavelength of light used which is to be determined. dn plus p is diameter of n plus pth ring dn is diameter of nth ring and r is radius of curvature of plano convex lens used there to get the newton's rings now observation table while writing the observation table first of all you have to write the least count of the scale which we have determined as 0 0.001 centimeter now in this table the first column as usual it is serial number and now this table is for determination of diameter of the rings therefore naturally we are required to find out the left hand side reading of the ring as well as right hand side reading of the ring. So now microscope is focused on the uh, farthest ring on left hand side say for serial number 1 we call it as ring number as 
10. Here we have to add one column ring number. It is 10th ring. And now note down the reading of microscope that is main scale reading over here and the corresponding circular scale reading over here. And from this now you will get total reading. By multiplying this circular scale division with this list count you will get circular scale reading and on adding it to main scale reading you will get total reading. This is reading of for diameter of ring on left hand side. Now in the same way we go on coming towards the center of the ring that is number 10 ring then 8 ring, 8th ring we record the readings then 6th, 4th, 2nd then we come to the center and now after crossing the center now on the right hand side we come and here we shall get first the reading for the second ring of the right hand side that means main scale reading, circular scale division and total reading. First of all second reading, second ring then continue it traveling towards that hand, right hand side so you will get next successive fourth ring then sixth ring, eighth ring and tenth ring. So in this way you have started recording the readings from tenth ring coming to second ring then after crossing the center now second, fourth, sixth, eighth and tenth. So now for this tenth ring this is the total reading, this is the total reading. This is left hand side, this is right hand side and their difference will give you the diameter of here it is 10th ring and that's why I am writing 10th ring. So difference of these two total readings that is the diameter of 10th ring. In the same way the difference of this total reading for 8th ring from left hand side and total reading from right hand side will give you diameter of air 3 then 6th then 4th and then 2nd so in this way the diameters are obtained now you can see the rings and you can see the cross wire the cross is exactly at the center of the rings what you have to do you have to move the microscope laterally with the help of that circular scale and bring corresponding ring on the cross of the cross wires, two cross wires and record the reading of main scale and the corresponding circular scale division. This way you have to go from one side to another so that you will get readings for determination of the diameter that from the left hand side and thereafter from the right hand side. In order to avoid backlash error, what we do, we record the readings from one end that is as it was told in the observation table that we start recording the readings from 10th ring on one side and then go on to 8th ring, 6th ring, 4th ring etc and then after crossing the center we go to the other side. This way we can maintain the direction uniform from either left to right or right to left. This way it helps to avoid the backlash error in the readings of the diameter. So here now it is seen in the video you can see that how the rings are moving with movement of the microscope and corresponding rings are coming on the cross wire. This way record your readings in the observation table.